Let's get back to the former governor of uh, Cross River State, Mr. Donald Duke. And perhaps let me bring you into that conversation, uh, part of what I asked uh, the Minister for Transportation on the issue that has troubled our politics, the issue of zoning. In your own view, where do you think it's fair to go next for any of the political party in terms of zoning for 2023? Please um, afford me one um, opportunity, an opportunity here. Um, I'm, de I'm, 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 I'm deviating from your question slightly. It's over the issue of rail and, and that. As an 11-year-old child going to school in Sokoto, I used to go by train from Lagos to Zaria. The trains were manned by Nigerians, but each train had two locomotives. One was a backup. I thought I should just afford the Honorable Minister this background. It's quite disheartening to have trains, whatever happens, to break down in an area that is, um, you know, in, in, in an area that is quite insecure, particularly in the northern parts. So we can think of having a second locomotive as we used to have in the past. Now, talking about zoning, I went to court under the SDP challenging zoning. Um, because it's unconstitutional. It's, uh, it's really a conventional arrangement between the parties. It sometimes, or most times, though, doesn't bring out the best, um, putting our best foot forward. However, we must be cognizant of the realities of our nation. And um, I agree with it. Let's leave it, uh, let's be fluid enough. If you, re if you constrict it to such a way that it, you're, you're sending it to a particular zone. I think you're you're constricting yourself too far too much. If it's the convention that it should be north and south, leave it north and south. L listen, in the north, Katsina has produced a president almost back to back, except with inter, uh, the intervention of the Jonathan administration. The northeast of has not produced a leader of this country since the first republic, and it's not an issue. Let's not over balkanize ourselves for political ends. The I don't even see the value, the interesting value of having a president come from your neighborhood. The experience has shown that experience has shown that it doesn't improve your lot, except the fact that you feel that you haven't you can aspire. Um, the Southeast has, has aspired, and they have a right to aspire. Um, the South South aspired. And um, fortuitously, it fell on their lap. The South has had it. But let's, let's not restrict ourselves. Leadership is one of the banes of our nation. So over-restriction to a particular area may not bring out the best in us. Or widen the loop so that we can put our best foot forward at each time. But this thing between Southwest, Southeast, South, South, uh, the North is not following that. The South, the North Central is not talking about that. It's, it's, it's more of a Southern thing than a Northern thing. But like I said, leave the space open for participants as much as possible. Let's wrap up the conversation tonight, Mr. Duke, in this manner. You mentioned the issue of uh, leadership. Uh, you reported to have uh, asked for forgiveness from you on behalf of Nigerian leaders. You insisted that the political leadership had failed them. You also said, quote, I do know one thing as a Nigerian, there is a trust deficit between government and the people. Would you be willing to get involved in 2023 to fix the political leadership failure you talked about? Absolutely. I, I, one shouldn't shy away from putting his best foot forward or doing whatever he can to salvage his nation. I'm not going to be coy about it. I've done it twice before, and if the opportunity presents itself, I will do it again. Um, we, we, we must, the, the greatest service that we can is the upliftment of our people. The trust deficit I mentioned is there, and it's very palpable for what happened in Calipan. Um, it's really very frightening possible because kind of my fear was, and it wasn't because of NSARS, it was just, it was actually not NSARS, it was more palliatives, but it threw up an anger that has been simmering in our nation for a long, long time. And my fear was that it shouldn't get to the northern parts of this country because it's even worse there, the, 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 the frustration. Here you have a country where you have more elites than elite jobs. You have a country where the mass of the people have no jobs at all. In Lagos, you saw the elites under the ages of NSARS and the masses who are frustrated for having no jobs. They came together. 
right? In Cross River, it was even more targeted. The right. mass of the people who had no jobs were targeting the houses of politicians, right? And, and wrought destruction, escorting persons from their homes only to turn back and destroy those houses. And now, in speaking right. to them, if you, have, if, you have, if, you have, if you afford me, look, there was a gentleman who said to me, he graduated from University of Ibadan 12 years ago. He has had no job. He goes, he lowers himself. He goes to work as a ticketing agent in a motor park. He's asked to go join a cult. He's angry. There's so much anger, palpable anger, and we need to do something, um, you know, as much, as fast as we can to create jobs. The, the, right. the, the Honorable Minister alluded to that. We need to create as many jobs, and we, you know, we are outsourcing. We're literally buying everything we need in this country. Talking about rail, we should be at least getting Nigerians to lay the tracks and, and start getting involved in, the, in those things. Too many things right. are outsourced. Too many jobs are created abroad to service Nigeria, and that is not going to work. We're a large country. Governor Duke, people, at least a hundred. Yes, I'm listening. But sorry, apologies. I wanted to say that we are out of time, but I must sincerely thank you for for talking to us and your patience tonight on the program. Uh, in fact, with our logistics challenge tonight, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, former Governor of Cross River State, Donna Duke. Thank you indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Shimon. And that's our show for tonight, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shimon Kimale. Bye bye.